first off, thank you for clicking on this channel, and I hope you enjoy what you see. And if you have not subscribed, then please take a second and hit that subscribe. Thanks. What we are talking about today is, why wasn't Big Chief at the Daily Driver Race for the show Street Outlaws? I don't know. Let's check it out. I'm the only one that built a car. Nobody owned their cars except I think, I think the dummy with the dummy owned that car. Because he took it to Pro Charger and they put a Pro Charger on and all that. But the rest of those cars, nobody owned them. They cleared HPP's whole shop out. They turned around and got car customers like Doc. That that was a customer's car at HPP, and Doc begs him into driving it. So, who's the dickhead here? The guy that actually built a car, uh, Sean or Shane, Sean Monza's truck that his boy was driving. Uh, shit. Oh, why wasn't Big Chief at the race last night, September 10th, 2018, on the show Monday night? What happened? Big Chump. Here's why Big Chump, Big Chump was there. Big Chump was there. But he was ass clowning at the little meet at the deal, being a dick, and fucking James K's wife runs into her, pow, with his car. He gets there when he sees all the cars that are out there. He seen the Nova. He seen some stupid fucking fast cars. He was in Caddy Rack or Caddy Jack Me Off or whatever the fuck he calls that thing. He was there. He and and what he does, he bumps the fuck front end. Now he drives it from Oklahoma City to Okima. He drives that hundred miles. But I can't race my car. It's unsafe. Fact. Fact. I dare anybody to fucking dispute that because then I'll show a fucking video that nobody wants out there. But yeah. That's why Big Queef, Big Chief, uh, Big, Ch uh, Big Chief wasn't there because he was there. They just didn't put shit on there. He <laughs> he ass clowned around and runs into James K's wife's car, pow, and then says, "My car's not safe," and it was fucking priceless. I wish the fuck they'd have shown that, but I guess that wasn't gonna happen. But there's why Big Chief was he was there, but you guys didn't see him there because. It was dangerous to race his car after he bumped into somebody. <laughs> that shit still cracks me up. When they, when they <laughs> so, what you guys seen was only part of it. I walked over, shook Farm Chuck's hand in the driver's meeting. I said, I'll do what you say. I'll, I'll let you make the call. But don't say my car don't fit the rules. You guys go back and watch. Don't say my car don't fit the rules. Like I said in the driver's meeting. Don't say the car don't fit the rules. If you want to kick me out on a technicality, I'm good with that. He said, you just, you built too much car. And that's why I went. Hey, that's awesome. That's what I did with the, the, the D's nuts car. I built too much car. Um, the farm truck was in a fucked up bad position. Now, Asian say that about race fuel. I don't know. That was wrong. I don't know why he said that. Cause he knew it was on E85 because I told him, I said, listen, do you want to test this fuel? Because I got it right here. Do you want to test it? Why Asian did that? I don't know. Why Jeff Lutz did that shit? What are we going to do? Like you got anything to do with it. I mean, but that was fucking wrong. But I will say, Farm Truck came to me and said, man, they're putting me in a bad fucking position. And he said, you built your car. And I told Farm Truck, kick me. I didn't make the checkpoint. It was true. I, I didn't. I drove my car, guys. I drove that motherfucker the whole way, and I drove it back. And you guys have seen videos of me driving it since. I have drove that fucking car. I'll ride that bitch right now. Anywhere somebody wants to match me mile for mile, we'll go anybody in the four or five. They want to match me mile for mile in their car that can race with that car. Uh, we'll go $100 a mile. And I guarantee you, I'll fucking retire on that deal. That thing is a fucking, it, it, it's nothing. It's nothing. The car is a nothing car. And it's not really all that fast, guys. It's really not. But it, it, it is a lot of fun and, and it's a competitive car. But it's not a late model borrowed car. 
Enterprise is still trying to get over the fact that they emptied every Enterprise lot and and every every fucking uh, every rental lot in Texas was out of cars for them guys. So, hey, we will loan the fuel economy on that car. Believe it or not, on E85, the car still gets 13 miles to a gallon, which I thought was fucking retarded. Crazy that it did that. But Barb Chuck was put in a bad position because all those guys were on him. Dave was in his face. 20 years of friendship and you fucking lied to me. I told him, I said, dude, don't worry about it. Kick it. You know why I said kick it? Because I already knew what I was going to do with the D's Nuts car. I already knew how I was going to let all this shit go. I was going to bring a real car, a real street racing car, do some real street racing on the show. That's the car I'm going to do it with, my little blue Chevy 2. Ten races set up right now that we'll be filming here pretty quick. So, guys, now you know the rest of the story. Don't slam farm truck, guys. He was put in a bad position. Don't agree with what Asian said. I don't know if he's just trying to be an ass clown, just trying to do it for the comedy or whatever. Okay, but... Farm truck fell bad, guys. You have no fuck. You have no idea. And I told him, listen, this this show to me, because you guys know about my daily driver stuff I'm doing in my no prep races. I told Farm Truck, this right here, them airing this, them showing this, means more to me than me winning this. Because this is where I think we need to go, guys, with with our cars. We need to have daily drive, not daily driver cars, but we need cars like that Chevy too, the kind of cars that you guys can relate with. No trailers. Drive them. Maybe what I need to do is pitch a pitch to them. I won't put together a, a 10 list. Only my list is real steel of the 405. And go have some real fun. But guys, I'm standing up for farm truck on this deal. If you guys knew, I mean, he was emotional about everybody fucking doing that. He, he truly was. He was very, very, very upset. You guys have no idea. Farm truck's a good motherfucker. He's a good guy. And I told him, this is more important than me. To all my September babies, happy birthday. It's my month as well, guys and girls. You know I'm about to have a fun night on the town. So I hope you all have fun and enjoy your night or day. And if it's your birthday, take a shot for me. If you don't drink, what well, is fine. <laughs> Peace.